violin technique. Um, first finger, as I was taught, leave your first finger down unless you don't have to. I mean, is it? And it's just watching, what I was watching is your finger, first thing you're doing that all the time. Even yes. when you're doing sort of first, second, first, third, first, second, third, or whatever, there's no need for it to come up because you, you, da, 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 da. it was, it was you know, doing that sort of motion. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed to be a lot of work from, from yeah. my point well, of view. Well, yes and no. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't agree with that. The general philosophy of keeping the first finger down. It's also in, taught in guitar as well yeah. um, to keep the fingers down if it's not necessary to move them. Not, it's not necessary to move them. But what I what I find happens is if you're in the habit of leaving your index finger down almost all the time, and you only lift it up when you change strings, all the other fingers. You know that their recoil motion or release motion is developed, and the index finger is usually not as developed because it, it just never gets that practice. Yeah. And then when you do change strings, you know you're having to because your finger is always used to being down. Now you have to overcome the inertia of it being down, pick it off, then move it over and put it back down. Where if it was already released and advanced, now you've just reduced 50% of the motion or the. 50% of the effort that is needed to change the string. Mm -hmm. So, for those reasons, I, I also don't leave my index finger planted down. Mm -hmm. Even if you were doing the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're talking about this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, is, this is always up. And I can do it the other way. And, but, you know, from having discovered problems of the index finger changing strings rapidly, an example, um, if I play this thing, in this particular case, only one finger has a significant amount of work to do, and that's the index finger. The other fingers only are responsible for one note. So if I'm used to leaving that index finger down all the time, then what happens is I have to I have push it down, so I've only got you know another note in between it, I've got to pick it up, move it over, skip this string without touching it, bring it back down. It's a, it's a pain in the ass. So for those reasons, even if I do something like this, it's still it's still coming up anyway. So they just find it easier to change strings, especially when you have to skip strings. I think it becomes a particular problem. At least it has for me in the past. I noticed with students too. <laughs> like that? <laughs> this is what it is. Not this. Is. There's no pull on this. There's a lot of cool things along the top. There's a lot of cool things you can do there. It reminds me of Fred the Bell. Yeah. 